Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Followed your case a little bit, you being a Macon boy and all. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> Riot in progress. All officers are available for intelligence one seven. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Said it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for him coming to one then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's gotta stop. That's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. What the this other time... <laughs> Officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Why the hell did he have his gun out? I need. 
need to drag myself out that window. Hello? Anybody? Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. I'm one of them. Sandra, 
Savannah. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me.
getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Lee, quick. Let's go. Babysitters go? I'd say her parents owe you a tip. Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well... Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Uh, How'd this happen? Jumping a fence. Running from something? Just like everybody else. 
What type of danger has the girl seen? Nothing bad. I just hope she's not in any now. I'm not some kidnapper, all right? I'm just trying to help. We can just leave it at that. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Hey, 
It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. 
Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Well, at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now? Please. Just go. Get out, and never come back! You've got that ride to make it if you want it. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! We're trapped! <laughs> 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 shut no matter what I fucking mean it we don't know who these people are it could be dangerous worse they could have let them right to us where the hell is your humanity we have kids with us 
I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Penny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it... We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. I it's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does... The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit- It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh man. Ah! <laughs> You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Ah! What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. 
We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. There's nothing I need in here. Find anything? photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, Dad's just smart like that.
Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's just move this thing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Let's get this done. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. There's nothing I need in here. That's what I figured. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero. Protector, at least. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there.
Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Yeah, he was. And you had to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, okay. can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. It's not much but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. It's not much but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Hey there. This is Glenn, and, uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. 
and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Two seem to be on the scent. There's one back there, trying to get into a room, but I didn't see anyone actually in there. We can hide by that RV, if we're quiet and keep our heads down. <laughs> Sure, I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. He's gone and we can't use that much.
going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others. Their crawling attracts the others. He's not going anywhere. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. They really want to get into that room. Out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. should hold on to that. Could come in handy. That was awesome! <laughs> See the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to the tissue paper. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. 
Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. you help it's too late for that guys she's been bitten what i told you i said go away i'm bit but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine i won't be fine my boyfriend was bitten you get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find you have a boyfriend glenn i don't want that it's not christian please just leave me please go Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Then shoot her. Huh? I've seen what hell is like, and it's coming back as one of those things. Shoot her! Help her out here. You're insane! Just take this thing. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy.
shut. Keys it is, I guess. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's all melted now. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. How you doing, man? You know. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. The pills are in there. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice.
Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. I can't reach that brick. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? You were there. You would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you to take care of both of them. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Man, that was close. But we did it. That's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Oh. 
Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled off round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I ain't got doors not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows.
Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up with the girl from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you wanted kids once. Uh, I did, yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah, I know that. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kitty. I got your back, pal. I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought that super dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Here, let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. When you go near my daughter or step out of line once, I'm 
so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. It'd be fun if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Connie. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the badgers.